Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we got a box. Any guesses what's in the box? And no, it's not diabetes. I'm not Wilford Brimley. This box is from Banggood. There is the uh, SKU, just in case you were interested. I don't know if you were or not, but if you were, now you know. And inside this big old box is a bag. Got a bag, need a knife. We're in luck because I just happen to have one right here. And inside that bag is another bag. So this guy has been uh, very nicely packaged by our friends at Banggood. Ooh. Okay, so what we've got here is a big ol', and I do mean big ol', uh, battery discharge, constant current, electronic load. This is 150 watt constant current electronic load board, 60 volt, 10 amp battery discharge capacity tester ammeter voltmeter with 1602 LCD display temperature display and voltage setting very nice all right so we're looking this thing over we got a big fan here a heat sink and if you look down in there there is a three pin IC which is probably a MOSFET um, we got a diode, we're at a really big surface mount capacitor there. A couple more diodes. Then on the back here, let me uh, zoom in for you. We've got our uh, DC 12 volt in. This is just a fan plug in. We have an adjustment of some sort, a buzzer. And then this connector here, amps plus, volts plus, volts minus, amps minus. I know it's kind of hard to see back down in there. So I tried to Google Foo the Chinese on these buttons, and this is the only one that came up. That says setting. So I figured we put 12 volts to it, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so our screen is showing us zero volts, zero amp, temperature of 23 degrees C, zero watts, and a current of one amp. And if I press the setting button, it moves that cursor, but that's about it. All right, what if I press this one? 15 volts okay how about this button again with the 15 volts yeah not really sure so after having a look at it on the uh, Banggood web page this is increase this is reduce this is set and this is start and this is our LCD contrast and it also says that we do need to connect all four of these so I'm gonna get something uh, put together here a little test for us and we'll have a look okay I've got it hooked up to my Ruri Dang Ruri Dang Ruri Dang I don't know how to say it you know I got it hooked up to this Chinese power supply and we've got our voltage set for 6 volts and our current set for the max which is 5 amps and it tells me to wire them together in parallel so that's what we've done and we'll power it up here oh no we've lost a ground connection somebody did not pay attention to detail in tightening down these clamps 
Okay. So now if I hit start, Okay. Oh, I should probably have turned that on. So, I have found this to be very close to being accurate. Let's try it again. Yeah. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I just had to set my cutoff voltage. That was the problem. So, what I was saying was I have found this to be relatively accurate. And we're also going to run this through the uh, Fluke 8840A 5.5 digit precision bench meter just to see how accurate it is. But according to this, you can see we're putting out 6 volts. Here we have 6.09, 5.99. I mean, we're looking at you know, 10 millivolts difference on the reading. So, okay, for our current setting, 1.052 amps going out, and we're seeing 1.073, so that's 20-some milliamps out. That is not super fantastic. I mean, it's not something, I mean, I'm not going to diss on it for that, but I would like to see that be a little bit closer. Okay, now you can see we have our cutoff voltage here set for 3 volts. So if I take this down to 3 volts, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and it cut off, which is what we want it to do. So that's good. It functions as it should. We definitely need some better instructions for this because I'm still not really understanding everything that's going on there, but I do understand some. So this is our cutoff voltage. If I press the settings button, we go through there. Now it's on the U. If I press this, it should say I. Okay, so this is our current. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. And then press the setting. Current is 1 amp. If I hit this, it should go up to 2. All right, so our current is 2 amps. Let's take our voltage up here to 3.1 volts. Power's on. Let's hit start. Two point one oh four, two point oh oh nine, two point one. See, it's closer there, so that's a good thing. Now, the next thing I want to see here is if this fan is ever going to start up. So I'm going to let this run for a couple minutes, and we'll see if it gets hot enough to start the fan. Okay, well that thing's over there cooking, trying to get it hot enough to see if the fan turns on. I thought we'd take a look at it on Banggood's webpage. And you can see it's $29.99 US. Uh, for those of you in the uh, UK, 23 20 pounds. Uh, in Europe, $25.80. If you're down under, $41.20. And for you, Dennis, it's uh, $39.65 in moose knuckle dollars. Now, the MOSFET that they're using in this is the IRFP250N. That's a HexFET power MOSFET. 200 volts, very, very low RDS on. Look at that. 0.075 uh, ohms turn on resistance and 30 amp rated. So that's going to be a nice MOSFET for this use. You can pause the video and check out these absolute maximum ratings if you like. Okay, so she's been cooking for uh, 13 minutes. Temperature's up to 38C. Still no uh, no fan on yet. I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
take up the current a little bit more. We'll go up to two and a half amps and we'll see if that makes any difference. So we're reading a 2.549, 2.462, yeah, relatively close. 7.63 watts, 7.5 watts. I mean, it's close enough. It's definitely not laboratory grade, but uh, if it, you wanted laboratory grade, you wouldn't be buying it from here. I cranked it up some more. We're up to three amps. Temps up to 41C. I, I'm really hoping this fan turns on at some point. Um, otherwise it's going to get kind of frightening. Alright, I'm cranked it up a little bit more. We're up to 8.1 volts. 3 amps. But it's showing 2.915, which is... Yeah, I mean, it's not spectacular because I'm seeing 3.08 amps here. I wish there was a way to adjust that but that adjustment on the back seems to only be for the contrast there we go the fan turned on at what temperature 46 degrees success now we'll make sure one more time that that cutoff voltage is working we'll take it down to two volts and there we go so after a little bit of experimenting, I've found that it's not really hard to set this at all. So this button up here, the upper right button, is the setting button. If you want to set your uh, current draw, you want it on I. Or then press this button, where it goes to this U, which is your cutoff voltage. Beyond that, everything else seems uh, very, very workable with this. Well, there's not too much of a teardown I can do here. Especially if I can't even hold on to a screwdriver. But I figure we can take off this LCD screen and see what's driving it. What's your guess? Atmel, pick. Place your bets. Place your bets. All right, the betting is now closed. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I was wrong. So you should be able to see that pretty well. They didn't obliterate this one. This is an STC microcontroller. So this circuitry on here is done very, very nicely. Um, here's our STC microcontroller. The only thing I don't really like, and I understand why they did it, but... Um, the bypass caps need to be as close as possible to the IC, but they just really didn't have room to light it all up in there. So, yeah, it's nice enough. Um, I wish there was a way, like I said, that we could adjust the readings because they're not 100% accurate. Okay, here's a double experiment. Experiment number one is I'm shooting this with a different camera and microphone so let me know in the comments exactly how it sounds to you but if you look down in here there is a cheapo knockoff ultrafire says it's 9800 milliamp hour 18650 it's really like 300 milliamp hour and I got it wired up here we've got the voltage here and we've got the current here I set the current for one amp and our cutoff voltage is at 3.4 so if we turn it on you can see it's showing us 3.8685 volts there's 3.78 and 1.072 amps we're getting 1.053 amps so I guess that it's close enough again definitely not lab grade but for the home gamer heck yeah 
So I'm, you know, I would give this thing a thumbs up. It's a nice, robust unit, and it does what it is expected to do. Right now, it's reading 1.072, and we're still getting 1.053. Change the rate here to fast, and you can see where we're at. So it's all looking good there, and that battery is discharging fast. So anyway, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be a link down below to Banggood's uh, webpage where you can purchase one of these. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Big thanks to all my patrons and a big thanks to Banggood for sending this. That's it. I'm out of here. Peace.